Welcome back. Franklin Furniture is well known for making recliners and sofas. The success of that business is leading its longtime executive to not take a fundraising campaign sitting down. Our Allie Martin has more from Houston. We don't just set goals and say, okay, let's see if we can attain them. For nearly 50 years, goal setting has been a vital part of the success, growth, and stability at Franklin Furniture. We just finished our spring market and, and we challenged ourselves for, at the, our sales meeting. Hey, this is the goal. These are the budgets. Gonna, you got to be accountable. And Hassel Franklin uses that strategy when it comes to raising money for nonprofits like the Regional Rehabilitation Center. The founder and CEO of Franklin Furniture will be honored with the fifth Red Raspberry Humanitarian Award, which is given to a community leader who has supported RRC. The annual award is also a fundraiser. The Regional Rehab Center provides physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, dyslexia services, just to name a few, for people of all ages at no cost. Franklin recently heard how the RRC helped one of his employees. When it first came public that I was going to get the humanitarian award, one of the ladies from our IT department would just happen to be at my desk, and uh, and she was telling me, she said, my two daughters were involved, and for several years, a couple of years at least, that they were uh, had some speech uh, uh, issues and. Uh, they took advantage of the regional rehab center. The fundraising campaign began in October. It's been so successful that it's broken all previous records. Regional Rehabilitation Center has been able to add some staff members, but there's still more work to do. We have a, a, a really simple formula there at the rehab center. The more money we raise, uh, the more money we get through grants, different things like that, the more individuals that we can help, which basically means the more therapists that we can hire. The success of the campaign means a full-time and part-time therapist will be added to the staff, and Franklin believes more people will help as word about the regional rehab center continues to spread. In Houston, Allie Martin, WCBI News. Last year, Regional Rehabilitation Center provided services to more than 1,100 people. For more information on Tuesday's Gala, go to our website, wcbi.com.